Okay, so this question says, D is a uniform beam of length 8 meters, and it's got a weight of 40 newtons. The rod rests on supports at F and G, where D to F and G to E are 1 meter long. It says, when an object of mass 60 kilograms is placed on the beam at H, the normal reaction at F is half the normal reaction at G. Find the distance DH. So first of all, I've got my beam here. Um, I've got DE. I'm going to put in, first of all, I'm going to start off by putting the weight. Because this is a uniform beam, I'm going to put the weight in the middle. Okay, and it's length of 8 meters, so I know it's 4 meters from the end point to the middle from both sides. It then says uh, the rod rests on supports at F and G, where the end, D to F, is a meter, and G to E is a meter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the supports in here and here. I'm going to label them. Uh, so the first one was F, and the second one is G. And I know the distances, so the distance from the end point to the support is a meter. And that means obviously then the other side from the support to the middle will be three meters because I know that the whole thing is um, eight, so four in the middle. And likewise, one meter and three meters. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my normal reactions on. So it's gonna be a normal reaction at F and a normal reaction at G. It says the normal reaction at F is half the normal reaction at G. So if I was to do a normal reaction at G, there is R. The normal reaction at F is half that one, so it's going to be a half R. Uh, likewise, you could have called it 2R and R, it's the same thing really. Um, okay. Um, it then says, find that um, it says an object is placed of mass 60 kilograms on the beam at H. So we don't know where that H is, and that's really the question. We've got to find the distance from the left hand side of the beam, the D to H. Okay. Um, there is one bit uh, that I can sort of make a bit of a, an assumption on. Um, I, I've got a feeling, well not got a feeling, I know that the, the object's going to be on the right hand side of the beam. The reason is because if the normal reaction is larger on this side of the beam, and it's a uniform beam, you know, if it's a uniform beam, they should be the same, the two normal reactions, if it was just um, resting on the two supports, um, because it's symmetrical, the diagram. Uh, but I know the object's going to be over here somewhere, just because this normal reaction is larger than this one. Now, if you did actually on your diagram put it here, um, you would just find, whenever you do the question, that you might get a, um, a distance bigger than four from D to that point, so I mean it's on the right Right hand side okay so let's put the object in it's at h so let's call this point h and it's got a mass of 60 so that means it's a weight is going to be 60 g and actually i haven't put the 40 newtons on for the middle yet 40 newtons so let's just check we've got everything our two supports at f and g we've got our weight in the middle we've got the weight of the object at h we've got our normal directions and we've got our distances putting put in. Uh, the one other thing I'm just going to do is I'm going to call the distance from D to H, what we're trying to find in this question, I'm going to call that X. Okay. Okay, now we've got a diagram. Uh, there's different ways we can start this question. We could take moments, we could do forces up equal forces down and so on. Actually, let's start off by doing that. Okay, so we have got, first of all, forces up equals forces down, because obviously with the rod, it's an equilibrium. So uh, the forces upwards would be our half R plus R R. And our forces down will be our 40 newtons plus our 60 g. Okay, so that means that a half r plus r, well, it's one and a half r, three halves r, and that equals um, 40 plus 60 g. Let's work that out. So 40 plus 60 times 9.8 equals 628 newtons. Okay. Um, now let's just find our r. So divide that by 1.5 gives me that r is equal to, in this case, 4.8, uh, sorry, 418.6 recurring newtons. So that's the size of our normal reaction for r, uh, that's the size of r. So that's obviously our normal reaction for the support at g. So that's 418.6 recurring. Um, obviously the one on this support is half the size of that one. So if we just divide that by two, that will give us this one. So that's 209.3 recurring. So we find our two normal reactions very quickly in this question. Now it wants the distance from D to uh, H. This is the value of X, this distance of X we've labeled on the diagram. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take moments and you can take moments about anywhere in the diagram. I'm just going to take moments about the point D here. Um, the reason I'm going to take moments about the point D is just because that will mean that we're just using X as a value. You know, like we're not having to sort of, if I took moments um, about the point F, 
then I would have to realize that whenever I times h by uh, the distance from f, I'm gonna have to add on one because obviously the question says find the distance of dh. So I'm choosing d just because it keeps in the value of x and I'm not having to, to sort of adjust it anyway. So moments about d. So if we're at D, let's see what forces are for D. This first of all, there's this one going in the anti-clockwise direction, there's the, which is the normal direction at F. So that's going from D in the anti-clockwise direction. Uh, we've got the weight of the beam in the center, and that from D is going in the clockwise direction. We've got the weight of the object. Again, that's going from D again in the clockwise direction. And we've got the normal reaction at uh, G, which is going in the anti-clockwise direction. So let's do the clockwise moments. So the clockwise moments will be the weight and the uh, weight of the object. So that's going to be um, distance from D to the middle. Remember, that's the one and the three, so it's four. So it's four times the force, which is 40, plus, and the other clockwise one with the distance from D to um, the object of H, which we do not know, that's what we're trying to work out. So that's gonna be X times uh, the uh, force, which is 60 G. And that equals the anti-clockwise uh, moments, which are going to be the normal direction at F, where it's gonna be the distance is one times um, a half hour, where we know actually has 209.3 recurring plus again the distance from d to g so that's the one three and three that's seven times by the uh, normal direction which is 418.6 recurring four times 40 is 160 plus uh, 60 g so 60 times 9.8 equals 588 times x so that's going to be 588 x equals and the right hand side one times 209 Point three recurring uh, plus seven times four hundred and eighteen point six recurring equals three thousand one hundred and forty newtons meters newton meters remember it's uh, moments um, so take off the one hundred and sixty so that gives us five hundred and eighty eight x equals two thousand nine hundred and eighty divide by five hundred and eighty eight so divide by five eight eight gives me that x is equal to 5.068 meters, okay? And that's it, so that's the distance from D to H. And let's just check, is it over halfway? Yeah, it's over halfway because halfway is four meters and it's sort of getting towards the supported G. And so it's, yeah, we put it in the right location. And that was it, so we were asked to find the distance from D to H and I found it to be 5.068 meters, okay?